Devin Hope. Jump shot. What kind of a name is that? Not mine, but try telling that to the brothers at school. That's all they ever call me. You'd think it was written somewhere. Tall guys must be jocks. No, make that tall people, because Deandra's got the same problem. Everybody expects her to shoot hoops. The difference is, she's got no talent in that direction. Ask me, she's got no business playing b-ball at all. That's my game. I've got good height and good hands, and that's a fact. But what about the rest of me? Forget who I really am, who I really want to be. The law is to be cool, to be tough, play ball, and use books for weight training, not reading. Otherwise, everybody gives you grief. Don't ask me why I care, especially when the grief is coming from a punk like Wesley. Judging from the company he's keeping, he's a gangsta in sheep's clothing. I don't even know why he and Tyrone bother coming to school. It's clear they don't take it seriously, although maybe they're starting to. That's according to Sterling who believes in praying for everybody and giving them the benefit of the doubt. I love the preacher man, but I think he may be giving these brothers too much credit. Anyway, when I hang around after school and ask, and any of the guys ask me, Yo, Devin, what are you doing? I tell them I'm heading for the gym to meet coach and working on my layup. Then once they're out the door, I cut upstairs to the library and sneak in to read. It's not much better at home. My older brother's always after me to hit the streets with him. Calls me a girly man for loving books and jazz. Don't get me wrong, b-ball is all right. Girls like you for one thing, but it's not you they like. It's Mr. Basketball. And if that's not who you are inside, then it's not you they're really liking. So what's the point? Still, I don't mind playing, just not all the time. This year is looking better. My English teacher has got us studying the Harlem Renaissance, which means we have to read a lot of poetry, and that suits me just fine. Gives me a reason to drag around my beat up volumes of Langston Hughes and Claude McKay. Whenever anybody bugs me about it, all I have to say is homework. Even so, I'd rather the brothers not catch me with my head in a book. The other day, I duck into the library, snare a corner near the table and hunker down with 3000 years of black poetry. Reynard sees me, but it's not like he's going to tell anybody. He hardly speaks, and he never hangs out with any of the brothers I know. So I breathe easy. I'm sure no one else has spotted me until a head pops up from behind the stacks. It's Janelle Battle from my English class. I freeze and wait for the Snickers I'm used to. Wait for her to say something like, What? Coach got you reading now? But all she does is smile and wave. Like it's no big deal for me to be in the library reading. Like I have a right to be there if I want to. Then she walks over, slips a copy of The Panther and the Lash on my table, and walks away without saying a word. It's one of my favorite books by Langston Hughes. How could she know? Seems like she's noticed me in the library more often than I thought. Janelle's all right. So what if she's a little plump? At least when you turn the lights on upstairs, somebody's home. She's smart, and she doesn't try hiding it, which gets me thinking. Maybe it's time I quit sneaking in and out of the library like some thief. Maybe it's time I just start being who I am. And now Devin's poem. Open Mic, Bronx Masquerade by Devin Hope. I woke up this morning exhausted from hiding, the me of me, so I stand here confiding. There's no more to Devon than a jump shot and rim. I'm more than tall and lengthy of limb. I dare you to peep behind these eyes, discover the poet in a tough guy disguise. Don't call me jump shot. My new name is Surprise. <laughs>